Well, hello there, brothers and sisters of Vodblitz Universe. You're watching Vodblitz Addict again. Welcome back to the channel. And today we're gonna talk about the tier 8 premium tank, which is currently in store. And it's M449. And oh my god, I love this tank. I really, really like it. And this camo looks really cool. Uh, by the way, I uh, saw uh, again some new subscribers. So hello on board, guys. Hope you will, uh, will enjoy the content. And um, basically, I want to show you stats. We're going to briefly go through the stats. You can pause if you uh, want to look at them. Uh, furthermore, I just decided to, uh, to make this little short um, input here. So you can pause and you can uh, watch the stats if you um, want to know uh, anything special about the tank. So, characteristics okay uh, let's talk about the armor as you can see we're shooting t34 at the amx and look at this just look at this full gun depression and you're all red to the most gun with the most penetration on ap on t rate this is freaking amazing as you can see when you're uh, on flat ground not much of a bounce but if you switch to a medium tank let's say uh american let's say super pershing just look at this <laughs> oh yeah you have those tiny spots tiny weak spots with the is the bottom plate and the hatch on top but if you full if you use full gun depression they are quite small and if you move back and forth uh and you can side scrape a bit as you can see you can side scrape don't over angle but you can side scrape against the medium tanks not against the uh, TDs or uh, really good heavies, but mediums, great. So basically, if you want to use this tank properly, it's best to use it hold down. Um, I got some games for you. Instead of uh, talking about stats, you can look at them if you want to. But uh, I prepared some more games, simply. Because uh, I, I want to show you how to use this tank. As you can see, we're sitting on ridge. Our 10 degrees of gun depression works just fine right here, and we can just uh, simply farm some damage. Um, unfortunately, this battle wasn't really uh, great because uh, my team in city just uh, fall down, and all the, the heavies from the city just rushed in. But it was close to, to winning, and we will do some nice, nice uh, damage over here. Uh, as you can see, the gun itself is a bit troll. Uh, it is a bit troll, uh, but it's trollish mostly on the move and at long range. Uh, so uh, just be aware that you can simply uh, get some potato shots <laughs> like I had on the Spurging before. Uh, but mostly, it's a really, really good gun. As you can see, we can easily just bait those shots and uh, that, that was ISU 152 of course it wasn't the BL-10 but still it was uh, 152 millimeter gun and there was no way uh, that he can uh, just penetrate me frontly especially the turret if you if he hits the hatch on top then yes but it's about sniper tanks uh, the sniper tanks are uh, really can hurt you down but if you just play against uh, this kind of tanks, as you can see, uh, it's not that easy to penetrate. Even if he's shooting Primo, there's gonna be no chance to penetrate us. Um, the penetration gun is good. The penetration is really, really good. Um, I feel it like, a, let's say, a, it's between the Lever and the uh, Goose, which is the M4. Uh, M6, sorry, M6 uh, experimental, and it has almost the armor of the EXP, but he has the gun between the uh, liver and let's say uh, Tiger. It's not as accurate as Liver's one, but more accurate than the Tiger's one, and most of all, it got it has mobility. The thing that I was really, really annoyed about while uh, playing Liver because uh, it goes only 35 uh, I guess as I remember correctly it's top speed which is rarely uh, which, which you will see on your uh, on your screen so basically it goes like about 20 25 kilometers per hour which is really not a good uh, trait of course it has great gun it has uh, nice uh, armor 
but still this also has nice gun nice armor but it's faster way more um, it's not way more accurate let's say uh, it's more of a, a mobile tank it's more of a medium tank with extremely good frontal armor and you can use this armor really really great it has also nice uh, reload time um, which uh, really helps a lot y you can see we are um, a bottom tier here we're playing against tier 9s and our guns still and our armor can still handle uh, the enemies on tier 9 the penetration on this gun isn't uh, spectacular but it's uh, good um, I, I didn't found it uh, very bad so uh, it's it's really good enough I would say it's really really good enough if it had better penetration values it will be uh, almost broken because you will have a great gun with great penetration with great mobility and a lot of armor on front so uh, basically here's this funny situation here where we just uh, no one wants to attack I want to attack but I'm getting blocked by all my <laughs> teammates uh, yeah we all have those games uh, but still GG it was a uh, interesting game um, but um, what we were talking about yeah we were talking about the, the tank the mobility so basically how to use it basically try to uh, stay hold down and if you stay hold down you can really bounce some shots if you can't be hold down try to angle your front and show only your front plate because if you show your drive wheel or if you show your uh, side it's paper tin believe me it's paper tin and there's gonna be no problem for the rats to penetrate you but the gun as you can see uh, check this out tier 9 t91 lower plate no problems whatsoever so yeah the gun is good I really appreciate the tank I haven't bought it at the, at the beginning when it uh, appeared in the store and I uh, already have the MX uh, 30 first prototype so I was like um, thinking about yeah I would buy the bundle but I don't want to waste like uh, 15k gold because I already have the prototype and I don't need uh, silver just uh, to pay gold for a silver so I uh, thought like well seven and a half K for uh, just a tank and a guy slot so it's not so great deal but I thought like well let's try it so uh, I saw some reviews from other youtubers I uh, talked with my clan mates with my also with uh, guys from my discord so my subscribers um, and they told me that this is really a great tank and it's a fun tank to play and as long as uh, I was st I started playing it I, I haven't played it for like 100 games I played maybe 20 games but I really enjoyed the tank the tank is really really um, interesting it's more of a medium with a nice frontal armor yeah and I really play it like a medium with a frontal armor of course I can push the heavy line uh, but if you are facing TDs and uh, heavies with high penetration the let's say your hole your upper plate of the hole isn't that spectacular but if you face mediums and you face light tanks they're gonna bounce all day you can bounce all day on your front plate so uh, I'm trying to support my mediums uh, as you can see the tank is really really fast and I can really push with the mediums there's no uh, problem with uh, keeping up with them so that means I give them extra firepower and uh, I can be the sponge that and uh, that can uh, soak up the damage on my armor frontal armor uh, so that means that they won't receive any any shots uh, and using gun depression and using uh, using my gun and uh, basically my frontal armor I can really do uh, good stuff here and uh, as you can see you, you will see in the moment I decided to push this flank uh, thankfully my uh, team went with me and we're gonna clear one out and there's uh, two tanks here there's t44 and there's one more on the on the t44 p44 pantera and he played a quite a good game but as you can see let's try to uh, angle the front to bounce shots this pantera went two times for the third time it will bounce uh, so yeah it's really really good tank it's fast tank it's uh, I, I really don't have anything to 
bad to say about the tank. The only bad thing uh, is the trollish uh, gun. But uh, when you aim, when you aim it, in 95% you will hit what you're aiming for. Uh, if you're on the move, you can go straight in like 100% accuracy, and you can uh, on the other time you will have uh, such a bad uh, such a bad shot that uh, will hit the s somewhere <laughs> not even near the target but it's on full speed it's a heavy tank it's not uh, a light tank which have to it has to have a uh, accurate gun because it's always on the move at least it should be uh, because it's mobile tank it's flanking tank and it shoots on the move uh, this one doesn't have to because you have armor you can uh, the shield that can really soak up this whole damage uh, all thing that uh, reds can uh, put to you uh, and you're gonna see here uh, we dealt over 2k damage we uh, bounced 500 and now we're gonna have to face uh, IS-6 and Action X at the same time but they have my front uh, I'm more worried about the Action X than uh, I was worried about the uh, IS um, Especially that he has very long reload time. As you can see, even Action X has problems with penning us, and we can easily pen his uh, front plate, which is fair enough, uh, I guess. Because when you're in this tank, you feel like Canavan Action X isn't really broken, <laughs> uh, but that's only when it's uh, it's not hold down. Because when the Canavan, uh, sorry, the Action X will uh, Action X will be hold down, then my God, you don't have no hope <laughs> not hope no hope at all you have to go around just don't face the canavan action x when it's uh set up hold down and um there's a few more games i wanted to show you and this uh especially to show you the hold on abilities the mobility of the tank um but yeah in general try to always use it hold down if it's possible um then uh use it hold down if you uh need to try to face hawk uh, don't try to play mid-range because on mid-range they can hit your lower plate and they can hit your sides and then can hit your back and all this armor around except for the front will soak up the damage you're just paper thin uh, so that's uh, that, that you, you don't want to do that basically you don't want to do that um, and I'm uh, really curious uh, how the game is gonna look like after the last uh, tier 10 heavy buffs. Uh, I don't know if you play tier 10, but if you do, uh, then it's gonna be quite interesting because the mads on tier 10 were just mad. <laughs> By mad, I mean uh, they just owned the battlefield. Heavies were uh, basically useless there. Because uh, meds can uh, lights can go around lights like a Sheridan um, or mediums like uh, AMX uh, 30B or any other medium fast uh, or Leopard or something like that with the uh, big guns really really good guns uh, they can go around you and hunt you down simply and now with this buff to to the um, HP massive buff especially for the mouse from two half uh, two and a half K to three K which is really great now it's quite interesting how it's gonna change the meta I think uh, that we will see more heavy tanks in tier 10 games which is great because uh, I wasn't playing mouse really I, I got it I got it unlocked but I haven't bought it because the mediums will simply eat me alive uh, as long as I have team yeah I can uh, soak up the damage on my armor and I can uh, simply uh, do some good stuff for the team so I can block the damage for them but when you stay alone you're simply dead against mediums there's no way you're gonna survive it's gonna be really really hard but we're gonna see uh, and that's basically all boys and girls for this episode hope you enjoyed it if you buy the tank give me your opinion how you like it Join my Discord, consider subscribing and catch you all on the battlefield. Bye bye for now.